I've not really done a video like this before, or at least recently. This is going to be fairly unedited, at least on the audio side. It's going to be more of me rambling. I have a few notes and that's pretty much it. This is going to be an unscripted ramble video. A lot of people are going to disagree with this, but I suspect a lot of people will be on my side about this. This is completely my opinion, but it was kind of brought on from a lot of comments that have been left on previous videos, saying how this is an issue that they want to be addressed and that I think more people need to be aware of. So today's video is going to be interesting. It's going to be very different, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoy it. So sit back, relax, and enjoy my way of destroying my YouTube career. I am talking about mobile gaming. Now I'm pretty open to most types of gaming to be fair, I am a PC gamer myself so I prefer it over other things, but I definitely see the appeal to console gaming since I used to do it a lot, that was actually for about 10 years of my life I used to be a console gamer and I loved it and I understand what the appeal to it is. And also mobile gaming, I understand why people want to do mobile gaming, because it's portable, you can take it pretty much anywhere, and yes, from my opinion there isn't really any in-depth games that you can sink thousands of hours into, but it's there for some good pastimes and entertainment if you've got nothing better to do. But this is going to be about mobile gaming and mostly about the creators of mobile gaming. If you're a fan of mobile gaming, that's absolutely fine. I have nothing against you, nothing against that. But this is about the developers of mobile games, and more specifically, how they advertise. So I want to start off talking about the trailers. Now many of you will have seen trailers for mobile games in the past, and if I'm going to be honest, they look pretty awesome. They always have these pre-rendered cutscene type trailers, and if they're mostly on the medieval side, they'll have knights charging into battles with fights going on every which way, people getting mown down and chopped up by swords, it will look absolutely awesome. But these are completely misleading. I don't know a single trailer, unless it's some type of like Candy Crush, you don't need to try and gain more viewers now, because they have enough people playing the game, they tend to do gameplay trailers. But I haven't seen any trailers for these sort of strategy games, especially historical games. It seems to really revolve around them. That is exactly the gameplay of what you're going to be playing if you download this game. And for me, this is a big problem. If you're completely misleading your audience, then you have no faith in your game. You have no faith that the gameplay is going to be able to bring people in. As an experienced person playing PC and console games, I know that the most important part for keeping you playing for thousands of hours is gameplay. The games that I have played the most have probably the worst graphics. Battlefield 1 has insane graphics. I played that for a good few months, put it down, not picked it back up. Star Wars Battlefront, I didn't play it personally myself, but like a lot of people said, looks amazing, has no content. Age of Empires 2, a horrendous looking game, granted the HD edition does make it look a little bit more snazzy, but I have thousands of hours on that. Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original one, not the one being remade. Probably my most played game ever, and it kind of comes more into games such as Minecraft, the graphics and that are horrendous, or for this day and age, they have their kind of own unique charm. But no one cares about that, it's the gameplay, and of course it's kind of dying off now, that's a kind of controversial subject though, but it's probably, I think it's the third most sold game, or the second most sold game ever, which is incredible, and that proves that it's all about gameplay. So if these mobile game developers are trying to make trailers, but they're not showing their gameplay, they're showing these cool pre-rendered things, that means they have no faith that their gameplay can bring in more viewers. A lot of other games do do this. I mean, Halo, when Halo 5, I think it was Halo 5, was announced, there was a pretty much fully pre-rendered cutscene sort of cinematic thing with Master Chief and stuff, but people know Halo, people know that that's what the game's going to look like, and yes, that's not gameplay of it, but it's going to be very much based around the characters, and that's a very story-driven game. Mobile games on the whole aren't story-driven, they don't have too much of a story within them, it's more of a pick up, play, put it down. So obviously doing pre-rendered cutscene with that is a bit less risky, but misleading your audience is not the way of doing it and it just shows the lack of faith that you have in your game. And this is going to go onto the topic that kind of annoys me the most, because it affects me the most and it affects a lot of people watching, and this is to do with other YouTubers. I noticed this a good 5-6 oh, months ago, there was a trailer on Instagram for a game called War and Order. Many of you may have seen that, there's been a lot of people complaining in my comments that they've seen stuff like Mountain Blade being shown on War and Order advertisers, but I'll get onto that later. This bit annoys me the most, because it's not just that they're stealing other games, but 
from other YouTubers. If you're stealing videos and footage from other games, that is completely wrong, but a game is normally, if they want to steal gameplay from it, that's because that game is successful and it's a bigger company. But if you're stealing footage from YouTubers, they are going to be losing a lot of money on that. And the first time I saw it, I didn't quite believe what I was seeing. I was seeing some Total War Warhammer footage of the new Beastmen DLC, and it was for this game War and Order on mobile games. And of course, I recognized straight away that, that that's not a mobile game, mate. That is Total War Warhammer. So I did a little bit of research. I spent a good half an hour searching the internet for where they got this footage from. Because of course, knowing mobile developers, they probably didn't take this themselves. And thus, I found this footage on YouTube. Now, the creator of it makes Total War Warhammer videos and I sent him a message. I said, do you know this is being used for advertising for a mobile game? Did they ask you to use this? Because yes, it's not right that they're using stuff from other games, but at least they might have asked the YouTuber to be able to use their footage, because that's one thing. And he said no. And then the other week, I made a video on a mobile ripoff game for Mountain Blade, and it was actually, for a mobile game, not bad, but that was because it was using the Mountain Blade kind of gameplay mechanics, but that is not the point. They used an advert, of course adverts kept popping up, and so many people recognize this advert as an advert from another YouTuber that made Men of War videos. And it was promoting another mobile game. So what looks like it doing, mobile game developers are stealing footage from YouTubers to use in their advertisers. And they're making money off it. Which is absolutely incredibly morally wrong. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not completely definite so don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be crossing the blurred lines of the legal system at this point. I mean, using adverts that are from other games is one thing, but stealing it from a small YouTuber is another thing. Thinking that you're going to get away with this, it's just stealing money right out of their pockets. Now, this is a very blurred lines, my next point, and this is game assets. And I did mention this on my other video on the knockoff game from Mountain Blade that was on mobile. And this is talking about the stolen assets. Now, you have to use that very blurred line. The reason I say it's blurred line is because I'm not 100% sure how much is stolen and how much is out there in the public domain. Because I did have a comment saying some of these sounds and stuff in the public domain that Mountain Blade have used, so these games have also used them as well. So they're not necessarily directly stolen, but I know there's a lot there that I have never heard before until I played Mountain Blade. So it seems like some of these assets are taken from it. And I don't know, like I said, how much of this is in the public domain. But that's another point to think about. How much is actually the game developer making the game and how much is taken from somewhere else. So I spoke about using other YouTubers footage for their advertisement at the moment. And this is something that really brings me onto the gaming side of it. Using other games as a way of false advertising for your little mobile game is 100% wrong. There is nothing there that even resembles your game and even if it did, you can't use footage from other games at this point. It's completely ridiculous. I mean, I see footage from the Total War games being used in these mobile games, Mountain Blade, things like that just coming up, cropping up all the time. I see them on my newsfeed and on Instagram and Facebook. I'm like, this is not a mobile game. This is a game that I love and play and that I think all the praise and money in the world should be thrown at these developers to help make their games better and not be stolen and taken by a mobile company just to advertise their game, false advertise their game. Now I'll show you a short clip now is when I found them trying to use Mountain Blade Warband to advertise a mobile game. Now it has been edited a little bit differently so it does look a little bit different to Mountain Blade Warband but it is still obviously Warband. So I'll just play you that now. Boy this game looks like fun. Have a quick look at that one. Oh, it's, it's it's not it's not Martin Blade. I've also just sent yesterday, which kind of spurred me on to make this video. I mean I've been planning it for quite a while. I wasn't sure if I should make it because I know that might get a bad reaction. But then again, I think this is something that people really need to be aware of and watch out for. So this is sent by Slovak, who is the moderator of the Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord group on Steam. And he sent me a link to some images. Now these are some mobile games using Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord footage to advertise. There's one here called King of Avalon Dragon Warfare. Apparently that's got four and a half stars on the iTunes store. So a lot of these, I'm not sure if it has. Sometimes they get and pay people to give good ratings so it can be boosted up the iTunes store. But even if it has, this 
game has been around for ages. I've seen this game so many times. So why can't they use their own footage and not use the Mountain Blade footage in the background there? We can obviously see that is the siege footage we saw from quite a while ago. And there's also another screenshot of it here used for a different game with a caption <laughs> over it saying they can run but they can never hide not for kids over 1 million players yes over 1 million players maybe on your mobile game i highly doubt that but you're not really showing your mobile game there you're kind of showing a game that isn't out yet and i very much doubt mountain blade banner lord has 1 million players at this moment in time false advertising is probably what made me want to make this video the most out of all my points it is probably one of the worst things you can do in the gaming industry. It is literally stealing money from people and it needs to be shut down. Honestly, there's not much me as one person can do. This making a video is probably the most I can actually do at this point, but I'll get onto later how we can try and help this out. So what are the main culprits for this? Now I've seen a lot of War and Order doing this. It's a mobile game, a weird strategy mobile game. I've never really looked into it too much. King of Avalon Dragon Warfare like I saw before. These games are things you have to watch out for. And this brings me on to what we can do as a community. Because not only does this refer to the whole gaming community in general and misleading people that are blind to it, because I know that a lot of people that download these games are blind to it and they get bought in by these misleading and completely ripped off advertising. But this also affects my community because they are using pretty much, I'm just going to go on a whim here, our most hyped game of the year, Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord, and Total War games that I know my community all play. They're using our games to get money. And honestly, this needs to be shut down, and I think this just creates a terrible business strategy for mobile gaming, and that is why mobile gaming, for me, is always going to be second rate to console and PC gaming. Because the developers don't take it seriously. Yes, every now and then you'll get a good game that developers have put a lot of effort into and have tried to make a good game rather than just a quick cash grab. But most of the time you're going to get these cash grab games and it just makes mobile gaming taken so much less seriously as it could be. I mean, I think mobile gaming is great. Gaming is great and getting more people into it is fantastic. So may it be on console, PC or mobile, that is absolutely fine. But we need to be able to report these when we see them. There's always the option to report on social media, if it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that sort of stuff. Whenever you see something that is falsely advertised, hit the report button. Just do it. Because maybe, if enough people do it, something might happen. Like I said, there's not much me as an individual can do, but if I can make more people aware about this, I definitely think at least I'm contributing. So that was my short i don't know how short maybe quite long rant about mobile gaming so like i said this is nothing bad towards the people that play these games this is mostly towards the developers and how they are just completely ruining the scene for people that love mobile gaming they're completely ruining it they're giving it a bad reputation and i know so many people that watch my videos on that ripoff video left comments saying this is why mobile gaming is terrible this is why it's terrible and then some people were like, but I really love mobile gaming. But guys that love mobile gaming, these developers are giving you a bad name. Because they're just misleading everyone into trying to play games that don't really exist in the way that they're showing. So, I hope you guys take away from this video the things that I've kind of want you to. So you go and report these things and you just make more people aware about it. But other than that, I am very thankful for your support on this channel. Hitting 20,000 subscribers is absolutely awesome. But I hope this video has helped people. It's definitely useful for me to be able to actually finally make this, instead of just keeping notes on my phone for months and months on end, getting all the different screenshots and things that I could. I've been collecting them up over a long time, and it's nice to finally be able to make this video and get it out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until then, I will see you in the next one.